The U.S. drone attack in the middle of a busy civilian street in East Baghdad was called a clear-cut assassination by Iraq's army chief. Inside the vehicle was a high-ranking commander of one of Iraq's most powerful pro-Iran armed groups, Qatab Hezbollah. This killing was carried out, the head of the army said, in a manner which disregarded civilian lives and international laws. An angry crowd immediately gathered, chanting anti-American slogans, and there were immediate calls for revenge and retaliation, not just here in Iraq, but across the region, from militant Iranian proxies in Syria, Yemen, Lebanon and Bahrain. No to Israel, no to US, they shouted, then turned on us, believing us to be American. The crowd quickly moved off to the green zone in the capital, home to several diplomatic missions, including the US and UK. A lot of tension, the crowd growing larger and larger. There are calls saying death to America, demands for revenge, a lot of tension, and this attack is not going to quell those tensions which have been rising over the past few days. Qatab Hezbollah is one of the armed groups blamed for attacks against American forces in Iraq and Syria, nearly 200 since the Gaza bombardment, including the deaths of three U.S. soldiers in Jordan last month. But the spillover of violence on Iraqi soil has provoked angry condemnations. We don't want Iraq to be an arena for other people's conflict or settling scores on Iraqi soil. And there are dire signs of even more escalation to come. This from another pro-Iran armed unit which the U.S. has designated a terrorist group. I am very clear. Any place used to attack Iraqi people on Iraqi land is considered an enemy. Any hostile action from these American bases spread across the region will get a response from us. Iraqis have a strong resentment towards the few thousand American troops still in the country as part of the fight against the Islamic State. And this latest attack has already led to the strongest calls so far for the U.S. troops to pull out of the country altogether. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Baghdad.